hold until we can transfer him to detention. Confirmed it. However, we've also been apprised of some alarm activity on board. Nothing confirmed, but we're playing this one by the book. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. They didn't really act, really act to that going around, weirdly enough. I thought the door moving, the whole ramp moving around would be something they'd react to. They seemed rather uninterested in it. Can I go through that? Nope, that's not that's not human sized. They're alarmed. Is that is that because of the ramp going down? Oh, that's a big old robot. That is a big old robot. Can I find a way to sneak around this guy? Ladders, vents. I mean, at least, at the very least, high ground's bound to be helpful if I don't get spotted. Cry, cry. Shit. He had to be looking directly at it when I went up it. Shit. Alright. That's bad for me. If I move fast, I might be able to avoid getting spotted again. Oh, crap. <laughs> Careful. Oh. There we go. Much better. So I'm, out, I'm up here now. And this time I'm not detected. <laughs> really gotta check these tops of these uh, ladders better. So the reason why I didn't pause at the top of the ladder to see if anyone was there was specifically because the, uh, the ladder itself felt exposed. So I didn't want anyone to see me climbing the ladder when I was on it. Because there's a giant robot down there. This fucker's gonna take a smoke break right here, isn't he? When I'm specifically waiting for him to move. Of course he is. Oh, there goes the... That is the fastest cigarette in the history of mankind. That's some... Those, uh, cigarette companies are really cutthroat about their profits. Finding new ways to make the cigarettes last less and less time with each upgrade. I'm waiting for him to move somewhere else and stop, just so I know he's not gonna not move gonna, not gonna move too fast. So you gonna look down off the rail. That gives me a starting spot. All right. Yeah, I can't get to the door unless I hack. Sneaky, sneaky. Just trying to be careful here. Anyone else in here? Nope. No one will find you here. Thank goodness. Okay. Uh, you can keep your beer, honestly. Security console? But I don't have a code, and I seriously doubt I can hack it, right? Level 3. Alright. Give me your code. Nope, just energy bars. Not exactly a worthy substitute. And maybe an email about a code. Cargo transfer, docking request, these are all... Not interesting. Nope. Nothing about codes. Alright, so I'm not turning that robot on against the enemy, or even... Or any, or any other thing, really. There's a camera. I don't think the camera looks up here, does it? And my goal's right over there, right? Let's get reacquainted with where my goal is right now. I need to go down one floor from where I currently am. I'm currently over here. And my goal is... Uh, where's the... There's the X. So... Yes, the door in front of me with a camera next to it. That's my goal, is to go through there. Probably other paths, maybe involving a vent or something, but this is the most straightforward one in front of me right now. Oh, the door is locked. Alright, that's bad. That's bad for me because of the, uh, invisible dude. Do I- I mean, not the, the robot, I mean, uh, do I have a hacking kit? I do not. So I can't instant hack the door. Is there a vent somewhere? Oh, human. Mr. Human might have a code. Oh, oh just want to get away from the door real quick before I get spotted. Yeah, that robot's a problem. 
Alright, feeling a little trapped. Ooh, hey, what's up here? Hypo stem. Just stashed about like they do. Let's try my hand at hacking the door over here. It's out of the way, so no one's no one can see it over here. Also, there might be there might be a vent behind this thing. Nope. This, this might be the best chance I have. Security rating five. Whoa, buddy. There must be like seventeen like rocket launchers behind that door. I wonder if there's a reason for me to want to get on top of this building. Oh, climbing across all those cargo could be interesting too. There might be a, a platforming reason to get around. At the moment, the robot doesn't see me. Good. Nope. Stop messing up me. We got a job to do. Ah, crap. So close, but so far. Actually, if I can jump on this rail, then we're okay. Be advised, new personnel should report to security Shit. central for biometric scan. Not, not having the best time right now. Uh, heh, heh, yeah. Oh, the drop down point, clever. Ladder, ladder, this side. <laughs> Yes! I found a way out. That thing can move around. That might be useful, but also would probably uh, call attention to me. Vent. There we go. Let's go ahead and save before I play with this thing. Just in case. I just don't want this all to go to shit. I feel really cl I really, I feel really smart about, about what I just did with those boxes. Damn it. <laughs> Let me have this. The big question is whether or not the humans look up here. Cause I'm in the- I'm in plain sight, which is scary, but do humans look up like this? Look, a vent over there too. Where would that vent even take me? Away from my current goal, basically. Whereas that one would take me straight- the other- the one I was just at would take me straight to my goal. Uh, there appear to be no controls on this platform. Oh, someone saw me. Or thinks they saw me. Where did this- where did this go? Could I- could I have accessed this before? Oh, this might be a loot room. What's it say? Generic upgrade ammunition count. Hey. Anything else up here besides some beer? There's a ladder that leads you down to... Uh, it doesn't look like it touches the floor. I don't think it touches the floor. <laughs> huh. Oh, this is like directly above the uh, starting room where I lowered the, the ramp in the first place. Alright, let's go ahead and drop something so I can put the, pick this up real quick. Shotgun. I don't even really want a shotgun, to be honest. Uh, combine. The only thing I can put on... What is that? A laser rifle? I mean, if I have it, I might as well use it on something. Even if I never use the weapon, ever. This has been an interesting find. Can I go over there? I probably, but I don't see why I would. Let's just try to keep out of line of sight of the human down there. He's like directly below me. Don't look up, don't look up, please don't ever look up. Yes. I'm honestly just happy the box thing worked. <laughs> Pathfinder. They give you so much experience just for exploring. It's just satisfying. You're like, I found this secret vent by piling boxes. Experience for you! I'm like, yay! Grand birthday party. There's several, there's several troops down there, but no one seems to be up here. Just trying to get a better camera angle. So there's catwalks that go above it. My goal is... Wow, two floors below me right now. It was already a flow below me, below me before, but now I'm on a freaking... on the ceiling, basically. So my goal is to get to the opposite side of the room, basically. Might be able to use these catwalks to my advantage. If, if they start to detect me, I can always pop my invisibility real quick. Seems to be closer to the other side. 
If I if they truly spot me though, I'm doomed because there's no cover up here. So let's try to be quiet and hope nobody ever tries to <laughs> hope nobody just try, decides to do neck exercises like in Metal Gear Solid. This would be a good time to be able to take a fall without hurting myself. Uh, it's right there, so tantalizingly close. There's no way I can drop that far without dying. Shit. No, this isn't gonna work. My best chance might be that, that shipping container? I could hop inside that shipping container. Nah. The other side of this catwalk has uh, a platform under it that's closer. That's about the best I can do right now. Probably loot inside that shipping container. But you're pretty dedicated to a specific path if you try to go down into it in the first place. Hello. Trank ammo, sniper ammo, and Praxis Kit! Oh my goodness! Nope, not you. Not you. Parachute, motherfucker! MLG! <laughs> this is gonna work. Here's the question. Does the safe fall attract a ton of attention? <laughs> I might be about to find out. <laughs> It's right down here. In that hole. We just gotta hop in that hole. Alright. Uh, bad idea. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Oh my god, that worked. That was the most perfectly placed Praxis kit for me ever. <laughs> it's great. That's far enough, Jensen. You. You're behind this? I said, that's far enough. I can explain everything if you just stay where you are. Why don't you put the gun down? Then maybe we can talk. You think I'm stupid? You've got every reason in the world to hate me, and I've heard what you do to your enemies. Tell me, did you enjoy putting so many BT contractors into comas? You're the one who let me off the leash. It wasn't my choice. As a matter of fact, I think you're going to get us both killed before this is over. But if we'd left you in that brig, who'd be around to save your Dr. Reed? What do you know about Megan? I know the name set off way too many bells and whistles when I added it to Burke's profile search on you. But it helped me to figure out who you are and why you stowed away on the ship. You think Belltower kidnapped her, don't you? You want to tell me you didn't? I wish I could. But after what I've seen this past year, all I know for certain is she's not on the base. Not anymore. What's that supposed to mean? Not what you're thinking. Listen, Rifleman Bank Station supports all Bell Tower operations in this region, Jensen. Regular contract and special op. Six months ago, I received orders to pull every regular grade soldier and civilian contractor away from the airstrip. Two Black Hawk helicopters sat down minutes later. I thought it had to do with Australia, especially when I saw covered stretches coming out. How many? Five. Guarded by a heavily augmented special ops team. Burke went out to meet the leader, and the whole group disappeared inside the detention camp. There's some kind of black project going on in there, Jensen. Something involving prisoners and scientists. And I need you to find out what it is. Tell me more about these scientists. Technically, I'm in charge of operations here, so I keep tabs on people coming in and out. Burke keeps meeting with doctors and researchers, telling me it's part of his interrogation technique. You got any names? None that I trust, unless the Doe family suddenly expanded into Australia and Asia. Thing is, I don't always see how they leave. Yet you're sure that Megan did? The Blackhawks did. Without the stretchers, but loaded with five stasis pods this time. I'm gonna need more information than that. Tell me about this Black Project. I wish I could, but it's been classified. So classified, every BT suit I've talked to refuses to even acknowledge its existence. But you've seen something. Only the edges. This station is part base, part military stockade, and every week a new shipment of belligerents arrives. Only, Interpol says they're not on anyone's terrorist watch list. Most are just civs. Harmless civs. Burke takes them into a restricted wing of the detention camp, and they just disappear. Why me, Keitner? That is your name, isn't it? The one Burke used back on the ship? Natanya Keitner, yes. And it has to be you, because any movements I make are noted and logged. 
I can't risk blowing cover. Cover? Who are you working for? A few months ago, an Interpol agent approached me. They've had Bell Tower on their radar for some time, but they've never been able to prove anything. The things that agent pointed out about this base, it opened my eyes to a lot of things. So you see, Jensen, I really am playing the good cop and the bad cop. Fine. What do you need me to do? Hold still for a second. What the? Relax. I'm just compiling your biometric signature. Retinal scan, pulmonary and vascular imaging, the works. Once I upload it to the network and give Corporal Alan Tyler a security rating, you'll be able to pass through specific checkpoints in this sector. Only this sector? Why not others? Because you're a fugitive, Jensen. The less room I give you to maneuver in, the more likely it is you'll stay one. I can get you into the detention camp, but the interrogation wing is going to be a problem. Only Burke can give clearances for that. And I assume you don't want me to go ask for one. Still the comedian. There's a security mainframe inside the detention camp's central command tower. You'll need to upload this copy of your biometrics there by hand. Contact me using your infolink once you do. Any more questions? The guards in the prison complex, are they Burke's men or yours? Definitely Burks. Highly trained, special operatives. So if you start a firefight in there, don't expect to live long. I'll keep that in mind. I could use some more hardware. Any chance Corporal Tyler will have access to the armory? You're still a fugitive, Jensen. I suggest you keep a very low profile. Still, there is someone who might be able to supply you. One of the base mechanics, a civilian named Quinn. He runs a nice sideline in procurement. I know the type. Why should I trust him? Because I do, and because he has no love for Burke. He's in the lower level maintenance area near the elevator. He'll get you what you need. I'd like a little clarification here about you and Burke. I take it he outranks you. Technically, yes. But this station is only part military stockade. And while he and his unit have 100% control over the detention camp, I have authority over the base. So I don't need to worry that this is all just some creative attempt at mutiny. Mutiny? You think I'd risk so much because... Listen close, Jensen. Burke is a sexist, chauvinist pig. And yes, he outranks me. He's also been in Bell Tower a lot longer than me, so he's got more connections. Which he's used to undermine me at every turn. But that is not why you and I are standing here right now. People are getting hurt. Innocent people. And we have to find out why and expose it. Exposure could destroy Bell Tower. Bell Tower used to have honor. We do this right, it might again someday. That's all I need to know. Good. I'll upload to the security network from here, so get going. Alan Tyler will exist by the time you reach the prison security port. Just be careful and try not to draw too much attention. Well, that escalated suddenly. A weird spike of like, oh, I hit a nerve. So I, yep, that led me directly to her. So she's actually working with me. And she seemed to be working with other people too. Let's go ahead and turn this. Whoa. That is a gun turret camera. I mean, at least it's turned off. This tracking system is anyway. I don't know if it'll still shoot me. Wow, how did she even get in here? I guess it's just her hideout where she does all this nasty stuff? Where she- all her tricks? Because for the moment, that seems to be the only way in, way in and out is this vent. Uh, let's take a look here. To remind ourselves of the objectives here. Getting some inside help. Seeing as I'm a fugitive in here, it's, it'd probably be a good idea to stock up on hardware. So that's the other character we can deal with. Otherwise, we want to upgrade a load of biometrics to the prison's mainframe computer. So, deep recover and our escape. Both of them are on this... Both our goals are on this floor. Uh, both of them seem to be straight, uh, straight through that door. Because I can't see the another X. The other... The, yeah, they're both supposed to be on this floor. Oh, no, there it is. It blends in. It's always easy to, easy to find the blue one because it stands out color-wise. But the, uh, the main objective is usually the same color as the actual map. Alright, so one side objective is right here in front of me. Otherwise, I can go around the corner. Might not be super easy to sneak around in here because I didn't disable anybody at all. Because I jumped in, being all, all creative about it. 
Don't see anyone looking this way, though. So that's a good start. I uh, don't know if we'll find a vent that lets me through there. Oh, there's one. Ooh, that, that's the turret I just turned off. I, don't, I think I turned it off. I don't really want to test it very much. But I don't think it'll target me. Hello. Cred ship. I was right under somebody, so I was a little nervous about the vent, like usual. This also leads to the same spot. Huh. So I'm gonna access the main chamber again from here, but closer to the door. Oh! There's a guy right out there. And there may have been no real benefit to going this way. Besides the cred ship, perhaps. Uh, he's looking the other way. Eh, it's another way of accessing the door, I guess. Just be ready to go into stealth the moment somebody turns this way. I'm trying to keep an eye on the cameras. Okay. Uh, left is the path I want, I want to take to proceed. Are there any guys around here? I don't see cameras or soldiers. Camera! <laughs> As I was saying. Nice explosive tank I could throw around. I, I've been eyeing those ever since that boss fight, but it's never really come up in that way before. I mean, since. Let's see what this guy can do to help me. Maybe he's got some Praxis kits. That'd be nice. How do, do I... Can I see my money? I have 3,000 credits. We're supposed to be right around here. I don't know if there's going to be any, any more guards to worry about, so I'm going to still be careful. There he is. Sup? Are you Quinn? Yeah, that's me. Jensen, is it? You weren't followed, were you? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I can believe that. They're having a hell of a time keeping up with you. I intend on keeping it that way. Well, you've certainly ruffled a few feathers higher up. It's not like they don't know you're here. Stowed away in the ship, I mean. It's only a matter of time before they bring the hammer down, put a stop to your gallivanting on the base. I just hope I'm not near you when the iron's hot and you're on the anvil. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah. She told me to be expecting you. I'm just glad you came as soon as you did instead of going off on your own. There's enough kegs of powder lying around here already without throwing another loose cannon in the mix. You know how much we're risking to keep you off the radar? We've only got so much pull around here. It's Burke's show, and he'll do as he bloody well pleases, which means stamping out any rats the moment he gets wind of them. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. From time to time, you might say of being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it? Bartering. On the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? What? Of course you have to bloody well pay. I ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. I'm just a civvy contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances. Circumstances? What, that you're a fugitive, and I'm risking my neck just talking to you? What are you trying to pull here? Although, I don't suppose you had anything to do with a stasis pod that was saved back in the ship. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? Well, let's just say I have my sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount on me wares. Just no freebies or handouts. But now that I think of it, if you're looking for a little something for nothing and don't mind a little legwork, I've got an iron that could use running. Consider it a special offer of sorts. You interested? All right, tell me about this special offer. Look, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but this base is packing some serious heat, especially in the form of those walking brick shithouse boxcars. If you get me a few odds and ends, I might be able to whip up a little something to make getting around easier, if you catch my meaning. What kind of something are we talking about here? Nothing fancy. Just a 329 series MPRS. A rocket launcher? That's right, mate. And custom built. But yours truly, of course. You see, while I might be able to get my fingers on some low-level arms, I'm a little restricted when it comes to military-grade bells and whistles. And I'm itching to try out a new trigger propulsion mix. Maybe even recalibrate the guidance system for some extra punch.
I'm not convinced jury-rigged explosives are exactly my style. Look, I'm not telling you how to do your job or anything, but you might want to consider carrying a little extra insurance while you're here. Look, all you gotta do is find me some components. I'll do the rest. An earlier boat had a shipment of 329s, but I wasn't able to poach any of them before they made it to the armory. Luckily, the little sparrow in my employ managed to lose one through maintenance circulation, but he got himself shit canned before I could collect. Now my little butte's lying around the base somewhere in bloody pieces. Uh, the launcher, I mean, not the wee man. Though, I have no idea what really happened to him. Right, so, long story short, you need me to find the parts and bring them back to you. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd say. Just find me the trigger module, scope assembly, and launch a barrel, and we're in business. I could scrape up the rest from leftovers here in the shop. I'll see what I can find. Any idea where they are? If I knew that, I would have picked them up myself. You're just gonna have to make do and keep your nose to the ground. Check the obvious places first, like the cargo and receiving areas. Worst case, someone found one of the parts and brought it to administration. I took their last. Got it. No money back guarantee or warranty. You break it, you buy it. I would fully expect that, uh... There's probably one part in each of those three locations, specifically. Let's get rid of that uh, laser rifle, finally. And that shotgun. It takes me over five grand. No special ammo types to sell at the moment. Any grenades that I don't want to go with? Maybe the frags? Or the mines? I know I don't- I never use the mines, really. I should, but I don't. Let's get rid of the frags and the mines. I'll keep concussion, EMP, and gas around. Tell me you got a Praxis kit. Yeah, you do. Look at that discount. Thirty-seven fifty. Laser targeting system. Don't really care. Alcohol and stuff. Not super concerned about ammo at the moment. Let's go for the Praxis kit. Only one to sell, but I'll take it. No refunds. Any opportunity for Praxis is good. Uh, he's clearly got stuff behind him. It makes me wonder how I can get to him. But he probably would attack you if you tried to get through his stuff, right? So I'm sure that the three locations he just told me are the, are the locations where all of his, his stuff can be found. It's always convenient that way. Where is this going to lead me? Does it lead me back to him or somewhere else entirely? Because I'm curious. Hello. Where is this taking me? Uh, D-pad. Oh. Maybe a little closer to my ultimate goal of... Maybe not. <laughs> it's telling me to go take the elevator back. I'm not sure where this will take me, actually. Do I want to spend that Praxis point right now? Oh, I do have two Praxis points. Um, let's get that super jump. Yeah, jump enhancement. There we go. So I've got my jump, I've got my invisibility, I've got my energy regeneration, or most of it, and I've got my invisibility... I already said that. My, uh, I got my, my full jump, my full drop. No map enhancements, uh, no hacking. Kind of fun change of pace, actually, not being able to hack. Because that was the first thing I emphasized when I played this game originally. Is that another Praxis kit? No. Nope. Damage upgrade. Let's see if I can plop that on something useful. Oh, on my pistol. It still has room for upgrades, huh? I'm gonna fully upgrade this damn thing. I, I won't. I don't think I've ever found a single rate of fire upgrade ever. But, uh... One more damage and that'll be maxed out. It amuses me at the very least. And hey, now I can jump high, so haha! -ha! There's a ladder over there too. Ooh. Perfect, perfect for my new super jump, as it turns out. Now we're on at another vent higher up. Nope, not you. Not what I was going for. Try to be careful here. There we go, cred chip. Oh. Not quite as much of a stash back there as I might have hoped. Don't know if I want to do that quest, honestly. I don't really use rocket launchers, necessarily. And then I'd have to go find the rocket's locations, then come all the way back here afterwards. Yeah, they're just somewhere in the base. Admittedly, they're probably in the exact locations he just said. I just don't know if I want to deal with it, necessarily. So probably, I don't prefer to use rocket launchers, and most of these quests are supposed to have 
if there's a boss fight coming up, they're usually supposed to have alternate ways of dealing with them. I don't need rockets for the robots because I have EMP grenades for them. So we're back on the surface. Yeah, I think I'll avoid the rocket quest, honestly. Even if it is technically me skipping content. <laughs> they look like adorable little fog machines when they're set up like that. Oh, there's a camera. Camera's in a few different directions. Can I sneak past you? That'd be good access, but can't... I don't, do I have level two? I forget if I... Okay, no, I can't even do two. I didn't... So we do fully start at one. Just gonna sneak past you real quick. There we go. Level three dedicated terminal. A lot of incomplete hatches around here, so I can't sneak through properly. But thanks to some pretty decent re uh, regeneration rate on my invisibility, I can get by through a lot of the stuff without it being much of a hassle. Gotta get to the end of this hallway. Yes, it does. You should go see what it is over there. Not here. Woohoo! I love you, invisibility. Please close the door. There we go. Got it. 